Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. So I'm back with a few more of my uh, winter installations, products I've got to help us keep uh, warm this winter and from freezing up. Uh, I got a window insulation kit from 3M. First up, and also got a heated water hose to install today. So the installation kit is going to go onto the the RV windows, mainly the ones we're not going to be using for sure. Um, these two bedroom ones we have here, we really don't look out of much. We actually keep some uh, reflectives in it just to block out the light. But uh, even so, you can see getting a little bit of condensation the last few nights. It's been getting a little cool. Um, I haven't really been running my dehumidifier much yet, but uh, you can see what happens with the windows. So what this uh, plastic is going to do is help keep the insul help keep the condensation from happening, and also increase the the R value of the window, stop drafts and stuff like that. So it's pretty easy to put on. You can include some of the 3M tape. I'm going to tape around the sill, and then <clears throat> the plastic will go on the tape, and then with a hair dryer, I'll be able to shrink it tight. So the first time I've ever done one of these so we'll start with that one and see how I make out okay well I'll get the first one installed went okay but there's a little bit of a struggle because of the valance and the blind so I think best bet make it easy I learned from the first one and on the second one I took the the blind just put the blind down took the valance right off good time for me to clean the material and the the valance and the kind of fake window shades gave everything a good uh, cleaning with Windex. I found the uh, hardest part of the whole deal was with the tape here, trying to get it separated from the from the um, tape, the covering on it. It's kind of finicky, and of course I don't have perfectly square corners, so it's kind of got to put it to the end, put it to the end, then put a smaller piece just so I can get a good seal all around. But, seemed to work out okay. Hopefully the next window will go much more smoothly. Okay, well, it went a little bit better than the first. I guess practice makes perfect. If anybody has any tips for me on how to, especially that tape, how to separate it easily. It's kind of a finicky thing to get the backing off of it. But I think that'll work. I'll just do these first two windows and uh, leave uh, a couple of the other ones till later. Wanted to get the bedroom ones done right away. Okay, so got it all sealed up and put back together and I put the reflectives back in there to block out the light and also aid in keeping the heat in. Um, last summer, this is the very front cap here. We sleep towards the front of the fifth wheel. So behind that wall and there's a bookcase back there, uh, there was just an empty cavity between the wall and the fiberglass and when it was windy, we would actually feel a breeze coming in through some cracks in the, the bookcase area. So what I did is I pulled that all out and I took a bat of that pink foam insulation and I crammed it all in the front cap. And that made a massive difference as far as airflow coming in. It kept us a lot warmer, especially because our heads are at that end. Also cut down on the, the cooling of that wall, which our breath would cause condensation and would drip down behind the mattress just a little bit but that made a big difference also the with the new skirting i'm going to have underneath underneath our bed is going to be the the skirting is going to go under that little room and i'm going to heat it as well so the heat heat will come up so i think we're going to be quite toasty warm this winter anyway well, let's move on to my fancy new heated water hose 
So here's my brand new heated water hose. It's a 25 footer made by Camco. Uh, it's the one that's good to minus 40. So there's two versions of this, a minus 20 and a minus 40. I decided to go with the minus 40. Uh, basically because it's uh, self-regulated. There's no thermos, external thermostat to worry about. Everything is enclosed inside it, of it. I liked it. It has a three-year warranty and it's actually made in the USA. So not a China product or anything. Looks pretty well built. Got her hooked up here. It came with these sleeves, insulation sleeves. Pull that back and you can see there's nice, it's like nickel plated connections there. So it has a connection where you can um, have the power cord in your wet bay or you can have the power cord at the other end just by swapping the, the male and female. Got it all hooked up there and then it just conveniently plugs in here. Give you a look at the other end. So most of this will actually sit under my skirting and my skirting off again. So I was uh, on a trip recently. It's not really super cold here yet. Although last night it did go down under freezing and the campground put in their boxes just the other day. They have nice insulated wood boxes for the, the hose spigot. You can see there, same deal at this end. So actually the campground guy said when he was looking at that, he said anybody that has this type of hose never has any problems, he said. So that was good to hear. It's quite a thick, heavy uh, vinyl covering on it. One thing I'm finding is it's uh, quite stiff. You can see it really wants to hold that uh, shape that it was wound up in the box. I had a chance to use it last night. It didn't really get down. We didn't really have a hard freeze, but it got down below zero. Some of the um, stuff outside that had water in it had a little bit of ice on it. Maybe I'll just do a quick test, show you the power draw on it. So you can see right now we're uh, probably in the mid 30s. It's kind of a chilly day right now. And it's drawing around 200 watts. So what it does is it, it basically will draw energy all the time versus a thermostat that will cycle on and off. So there is a downfall there that you're always going to be drawing some power. And then as it gets colder and colder, that wattage will ramp up, I think, up to three or 400 watts, if I remember correctly when I was reading the instructions. So there you go. A couple more items added to our winter cold arsenal, along with the skirting and the dehumidifier. That's the window film and a heated hose. So uh, I'll come back, you know, later in the winter and let you know how all these things are working out for us. Until next time, Ray from loveyourrv.com. Cheers, folks.